Okay, so let's go uh, second camp's on, so let's go knight f3. Again, he's 2018, so I can probably take some liberties, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to play simple chess. I'll play e5. It's not a good move, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, he plays knight g8, which, I, I, which is kind of what I was hoping he would do. <clears throat> go here target the knight I guess I just trade pretty unfortunate for black I would say I take and I go bishop h6 I'm gonna be pretty hard to survive this mm -hmm. okay one up one down Let's play an old Indian. Good night, six, I guess, just castles. Um, okay, pretty normal so far. I guess I'll go here to hit the pawn. go h6 maybe g5 I mean all all pretty standard so far go h5 of course <clears throat> Ooh, that kind of closes the uh queen side okay I'm gonna go a6 though let's go here I'm gonna go here Pressure on b5. I can go like queen g8, queen g7, maybe g4 next move. It's all pretty pleasant. Okay, I'm just going to go g4 and, and open it up. I guess I'll go g3, create a nice connect five. Um, I can probably clog the toilet here. I'm going to clog the queen side now because I think with the pawns this far advanced, I can just slowly grind here and win. Let's go here, queen g7. It takes. Yeah, the problem here is that I'm gonna go rook eight, a rook h8, rook h2, and long term, something's gonna collapse. It's just a question of what exactly. Queen f1. Okay, let's just go here. Now, first things first, I'm gonna make sure that I connect this queen side so there are no sacrifices, and I'm gonna play like 98. Okay, this is step one connect the queen side make sure queen side make sure it's safe now I go rook h2 I staying for a long time here okay now I'll go here this is step one to target the pawn on h2 Step two, reroute the knight to h4. And step there is probably even reroute the other knight. Let's go here. Question is, do I where do I want this knight? I think I want this knight on g5 is my guess. Oh, I gave him... Uh, I shouldn't have given him that. That was kind of stupid. Let's go here. I guess I'll go here. I'll go here, maybe knight g5. <clears throat> okay, he's defending very well. This is actually 3-0 though, right? So there's no increment, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And now there must be some way for me to break through here. Um I just take. Go here. If he trades, I take and make a new queen. If he goes queen f1, I I mean, this must be winning. I don't know how, but... Let's go here, and his queen is... No, it's not trapped. He's got queen g1, which I missed. Okay, this is very poor by me. <laughs> Actually, I'm still going to win this game, but very poor. Let's 
So here I'm just gonna chill. Take and now he can't take the pin, and now it's just GG. So again, two up, one more to go. Uh, let's play the birds opening. <clears throat> we'll go E5, target the pawn. Okay, now I'm gonna go C4. Go here. Probably knight a4. Let's go g4 first. Take away the f5 square. So we'll just, I don't know, go here in castles. Wow, he finds g5, which is annoyingly good, actually. Annoyingly good. I'm at, if I was playing a better player, I'd probably be in some trouble here. I'm kind of impressed that he found that. I did not expect him to find G5. Yeah. Although he then blunders Bishop. Oh, he's got Queen G5. What am I doing? I'm actually being very sloppy now. I'm still going to win the game, but I'm being extremely sloppy. Yeah, I'm being really sloppy here. Just... I mean, I'll win this end game, but man, terrible technique. Trade, let's go here, win the pawn. Yeah. Okay, now I have to be very precise here. So I'm going to go here and take. Now I can take so I can run the king up. And now I'm going to start to run the king towards the queen, so I'm going to start expanding here as much as I can. Go b4, a4, a5. Just keep expanding. Uh, now the question is, do I play... I think I just play b5 and I create the outside pawn. I'm going to go a5, b6. And I create this outside pass pawn. I have knight c5. This should be pretty clean. The winning now I'm going to box the knight. No squares. A5 was maybe better, but whatever. Go A5. I mean, I have multiple threats here that are very hard to deal with. Wow. <laughs> Insane. This guy for real? I mean, what is this? He's suddenly defending perfectly? Until he's not defending perfectly, yeah. Uh, for a second, I was like, what's going on? But yeah, he finally makes a blunder. And I go here and... I think a7 wins because he has no... f6 takes, takes a7. Yeah, he needs his b6 square, but he can't get to it, so I win. Yeah. And he doesn't, he doesn't have the square. He doesn't have this B6 square to cover. Pawns in the way, and that's just GG. We get the win three up, three down. Not not great, not great, but we get three wins. Um, so we do win our first match. Let me adjust the uh, scene as well, of course. Adjust it. Um, second. All right, there we go. Okay, so we are into the uh, semifinals. I guess Goddess match is not over yet. Um, let me pop it up in a second. But yeah.
Okay, so who is Gata playing? Gata is playing um Gata Kamsky. Where is GM where is uh Tiger VL shape? He is half half. He's not God is actually losing to Jean Marco here, I think. Wait, um, is he? Bishop E2? Oh, time. Oh my gosh. One and a half half for Jean Marco. Hmm. Will I be doing on Wednesdays now? I'll still stream on Wednesdays. It just won't be uh won't be um won't be Arena Kings, that's all. But yeah, we'll we'll still be streaming every Wednesday. Yeah, even even without this, we'll we'll keep going. Let's see, what did I miss in the Marquettes? Marquettes are completely uh they're flat-ish, ish. Um flat-ish. He played a few good moves, 100% sus. No, he's not sus. Uh, I was just shocked at how well he played in the final game, but position was probably a little bit too easy for him. Fed announcement, four minutes. I thought the Fed already did their announcement. Don't they do it at 2 o'clock and then he speaks at 2.15? Maybe I'm wrong. What do I see between four and tie breaks then? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. So Bishop B3. This is actually very similar to a game I had against God in the US Championship in 2015, where I played him with a black piece in the second to last round. Half point, I was down half a point. I beat him in this criti the critical matchup, second to last round. I would then go on to beat Yasser Sarawan in the final round to win um to win the US Championship in 20, I think it was 2015, if I remember correctly. But yeah. So nice five. Not a great position for Gata. Although knight h5 maybe isn't the best move. Knight h5 feels a little bit off sides. What's this knight doing exactly? Hmm. Probably you play rook a4 or bishop. Okay, he goes back with bishop g5 again to try and trade. Now there's no knight h5 because then you lose the bishop. How's Yasser playing the U.S. Championship? I thought he's not that good. No, uh, he's still a very strong player, but 2015 was already seven years ago. It's already seven years ago. Okay, this must be a blunder. Wait, yeah, you're just losing. You're losing everything here. Very poor play by Jean Marco. Is having the eval bar on okay? Yeah, because I'm not playing this game. If I was playing, of course. Well, it wouldn't be on anyway because in a game that you can't show it, but that would be cheating, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Yasser in his prime is very strong. I think it was around, I don't know how high, exactly how high he got. I want to say it was probably close to top 10, maybe around there. God is going to win this, by the way. Knight on B4 is getting stuck. You have Rook lifts. Kingside pawn structure is compromised for Black Auto. will win this pretty quickly. Yasser is, is Yasser also, no, I think Yasser is a three time US champion. I think God and I are the only two people on five, but I could be wrong. Oh, no, Yasser is a four-time. Four-time. So, yeah. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is... Uh, I think there's Ryshevsky and Fisher, who both have, like, eight or something. There's Walter Brown, who is six, and then I think God and I are the two people on five. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, yeah, Yasser is four, God and I have five, and then... Walter Brown is six, and then, of course, Ryshevsky and Fisher have, like, eight or nine. I think they have eight, actually, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. So, anyway, all right. Thank you so much to Virtual NA for the 13 months. Let's see what's happening here. Probably, Virtual wait. NA just what opening okay, Gata wins. Push to 1, plus if around 700. Oh, oh, by the way, one thing I was saying earlier that was important to note, um, I was saying was I do wonder how much money it would take for, um, uh, why don't Fabiano and Wesley have very many? Because Fabiano did not represent the United States uh, for many years. He, he represented Italy um, and he was living in Europe from time he was 10 till about, I want to say it was maybe like 20-ish, 21-ish, maybe somewhere around there. So, um, so yeah, so Fabiano was not representing the US. So he didn't play any, any US championships until I think 2016, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Gabriel Schwartzman, too bad he quit just so long ago. Yeah, I actually pay, played Gabriel Schwartzman 
when I was, I think, 10 years old in Las Vegas at the National Open. I want to say it was in, um, my gosh, that was probably like 2004, maybe, or something. I played him one time. It was a French. I think we drew the game. I had the white piece, but it was a French. I think it was a draw, but I honestly, I, I don't really remember it. Very, I don't even remember the game. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, God is black again in this game. What's going on? Uh, again, this is not the decisive game of this match. I don't think, is it? Because you have to get to three to win. Gotta get a grip true. So, yeah. I think I have what? I ha I mean, if we if we go by the traditional traditional basis, uh, I think Wesley is two or three. Um, I'm not sure how many he has, but he's got two or three. Now, of course, with LeVon coming in, that'll make it a lot harder for... Um, that'll make it a lot harder for... Uh, Lot her actually no Wesley is two technically I mean I don't really consider the 20 the online one to be the same thing I mean people can call it that but it's it was quite different um so Wesley has two has two or three depending on how you want to call it Fabiano has one uh, Fabiano must have two um let me see why can't I find just a simple list uh, to show I can't actually just find a basic list, which is really, really annoying. Um, Fab Fabiano actually only has one. Oh, Fabiano only has one. Wow. Fabiano won in 2016, the first year he could play, and that's it. Um, Wesley has two. Uh, Wesley has two two of the regular ones. One of that one online rapid, which of course is quite different, uh, which is unique. Probably never happening again. Um, Sam has Sam won as well. Sam has won as well. Thank you so much, Henry Olifantje, for the three months. Thank you so much, Henry Olifantje. How does Fabian only have won? Because I think what because I won in 2019, Sam won in 2018, Wesley's won too, and yeah, just how it goes. So yeah, hope Ray Robson gets one. I don't think he has any chance, honestly. Oh, uh, Wesley has two regular ones. He won the one online, but that was rapid. It was not the regular format whatsoever. What is going on? I just noticed something changed. Um, yeah. Rook F7, I guess you just castle here. Um, so, yeah. I don't think Ray's going to get it because also now Levon is going to be playing as well. So, yeah. How does Yasser have three? He was never above 2,700 because Yasser Sarawan was a boss. That's why, first of all. But then secondly, on top of being a boss, um, on top of being a boss, uh, at the time, 27... At the time when Yasser was playing, there weren't that many strong American uh, American players, or they weren't at the level Yasser was at, where he's right around the top 10. Oh, and he is 4-2. But yeah, basically, ratings were lower. And at that time, I think Yasser's competition, you didn't have, like, top, top guy, top, top guys. Uh, a little bit different. I don't know why it was minus 9. I don't really care. God is down to a minute. He better put this away with knight g4, knight e6, queen e5. Doesn't go knight g4. I think he might lose this game on time. I don't like that move. It's still good, but yeah. Powell confirmed a, a 0.5 increase. Yeah, but I, it didn't look like the market particularly was... Oh, now the market's selling off. Okay. I'm guessing this means he said something that people are not happy about if the Nasdaq is minus 0.7 again. Um, hmm. So, all right. Rook F3. God is down 10 seconds. He still should be okay here, but it's tricky. Like a three, God, God should win this game. He's got forty four seconds, winning position. He's a better player, obviously. He should win. Rook F eight, good move by God. Yeah, U.S. chess in the eighties was definitely different than it was in in modern times. I mean, uh, now it's just a completely different world. When when, when Yasser was playing, I mean, I think he, he he was basically he would be the equivalent of where I'm going to put someone like a, you know, a Sam Shanklin, a Sam Sevian type player, but there was no one even remotely close to the top at that time. So, so when Yasser was playing, it was the players who were like, he, he was around like probably 10 to 15 in the world. And the next closest players were probably like, honestly, I want to say like 35 to 40 in the world. So it was just a much different time. Uh, God is kind of making a hash out of this. He still should win, but H4. H5. H5 and King H4. 
Rook g5, c4, takes, takes h6 maybe. God is up on time though, so he should win. Rook f8. Oh, he mouse slips. <laughs> he mouse slips, but he's still winning. E4 is GG, yeah. The, the wide peepos rule the day here. Yeah. Just got off work. Bach is back. I think Bach is in... I think the semis, first match, everybody had a pretty straightforward match. Wait, what did Gata just do? Ch Check. Oh, what the... What? Wait, what? I literally glanced away for one... What? I glanced away for one second, and, and what... What? Mango tango. Made a mango tango for the three, for three months. Nakamura takes Nakamura takes. Okay, now God has to win the final. What was that? Gotta flag ski, apparently. I mean, come on, Gotta. Maybe he didn't realize that F eight was a check. I guess that's what it is. But they they have to play again. It's only two and a half, one and a half. Okay, why haven't they started the next game? It doesn't count. I wasn't looking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But Minlay, Minlay won, right? Oh no, who is Minlay playing against? Minlay is. What is Minlay's score? I don't see him listed yet. Thank you to in the time of Nick for the twenty nine months. In the time of Nick, just subscribe. Hello all. Okay, let's watch Gata. Round number five. Here we go. It's ongoing, okay. Major interest rate hike, yeah, I saw that news, you guys, but I don't really understand why everyone's acting like it's such a huge deal. No, now we're green again. Yeah, now the, now now like Facebook and AMD are, are rallying again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with whatever Powell's saying. Like it looks like Nasdaq just went down like one percent, and now it's like climbing back. Who knows? They already said it was going to be 50 basis points, so I, I thought the real danger was they would make it 75, and then the market goes splat right off the face of the earth. But it's only 50 basis points, and it was already expected, so I don't know why everyone's acting all weird about it. Uh, Benjamin didn't... No, Benjamin did make it, but... Uh, Benjamin's playing against Min Lei. Probably Queen C7 here. Thank you so much to Bobby Fisherman for the 1,000 bits. Thank you so much to Bobby Fisherman. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Any advice to get into stocks? Um, I would say, honestly, for the majority of people, just buy ETFs. Buy an ETF of like an international market and then buy an ETF of the US, of the of like the S&P or the Qs and, and just like, just just a average buy like once or twice a year. Just find your, just make a make a buy and that's it. And then don't look for 30 years. That's what I would say. Plain and simple. Yeah, that, that's what I would say. Literally just, just buy, just buy like some international one. Although inter international is not terrible. Like maybe, maybe like EEM or something. Uh, and then buy, buy like an S&P, maybe a NASDAQ and just chill for 30 years. Buy naked calls. Yes, exactly. You guys, if you want, if you want to gamble, that's one way of doing it. You could also just go to the roulette table and gamble as well. You know, although I guess if you go to the roulette table, uh, no, if you go to the roulette table and you bet on a number as opposed to red or black, you are getting what 30 to one. So you could probably go and bet on a number or you could probably bet on um or you could bet on uh you could bet on something else but anyway yeah some of us don't have 30 years if you don't have 30 years and i actually i think you can get what you can get nine percent with i bonds from the government right now probably it was probably over 10 percent there probably are bonds that are pretty that are yielding pretty well at the moment is my guess or if you if, if if that's an issue you can also do some of the stuff i do which is you can buy some of the business development companies which give which have yields around nine percent as well in the stock market so that's another thing you could do as well where you're not capped at 15k so uh you can't get nine or ten percent i'm pretty sure i bonds from the u.s government um are very close to ten percent at the moment but i could be wrong series series i saving bonds what, what are they at uh currently the yield is um let me see the currently the yield is the yield is where's the yield it's not showing i'm too stupid to see it on the web page oh it's 9.62 percent so the initial interest rate on the new series i saving bonds are 9.62 percent and you can buy at that rate through october of 2022 so after october it's probably going to be higher um so yeah yeah it's 9.62 percent 
But you're capped, obviously, so you can't just buy any number. What did God did God make a blunder or something? What just happened? What just happened? Did God make a huge blunder here? I don't understand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Queen H two, Queen H four. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Queen G three was not right though. God is down on time though. That's the problem. Uh-oh. I don't know why I didn't check and go Queen H4. Gata has a chance to survive this still. It depends if his opponent chokes here and starts thinking too long and lets Gata's king run. If God is able to run the king to the queen side, he'll probably win this game. Queen H4, King F1. Yeah, Gata's opponent is thinking way too long here. Now B4, yeah, Gata might actually... Gata's in with a chance now again. Nice. Well, I guess you just go knight f6 back. f4, rook h5. Rook h5 or e5. Problem is God has got no time here. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if God can pull this off. Yeah, queen e6. Queen e7 or do you just move? Do you just got to make a move? Queen e8 or e6, yeah. Great, okay. Queen h7 takes queen c1. Queen c3, of course. No, that's a bad move. Now queen e2, and now you now the pawn should run ace. What is knight f4? Queen f4? Oh my, oh my, oh my. Knight e4, oh my, oh my. Queen h2, and now knight g4. Oh my. Oh geez. So Gata loses, which means I play against Jean Marco. That is a big unfortunate. Big unfortunate. Jeez. Yeah, pretty unfortunate. From winning to losing in three and a half seconds, yep. Uh, very rough for God. All right, so let me find out when, we, when the next match starts. Um, yeah, for God, that's a huge loss. Because if God wins that match, um, let me see. Arena Kings Season 9 prizes. For the final one, I think that I think the way that God threw this match basically just cost him like, um, what did it cost him? It cost him like probably a thousand bucks or something. Yeah, in the final. 9th or no it only costs him 400 but 9th to 16th is 250 5th to 8th is 650 so he basically cost him 400 bucks there by losing brutal absolutely brutal for gata brutal brutal and then uh fourth and third are 1250 second is 2k and first is 3500 so again this is the grand final three minutes till we start let's get going he lost 400 bucks in a few seconds yeah well i'm pretty sure that most of us lost a lot more than 400 bucks in the last 15 minutes when Jerome started speaking or maybe not though Facebook's going up again so the market's starting to turn around thank you so much to Christia for the prime thanks for Christia appreciate it all right three minutes um yeah God I think his opponent was cheating well we'll see we'll see we'll see I'll give you I'll give you an honest opinion about whether I think uh whether I think this guy is cheating when I play him yeah we'll see watching the market live holding facebook and starbucks yeah i actually i uh, i'm very bullish on facebook i i made a some i made a slight prediction recently too like i think i said maybe not so long ago i said whenever facebook or, or baba start rallying that's when the market's going to recover and i think that's true i'm very very bullish on facebook anyway all right okay If God thinks you're cheating, but you're not, you probably have talent. Probably true. Yeah. So, anyway, all right. He's not going to cheat against you. Everyone knows he's cheating if he wins. <laughs> 
Yeah, some people are a little bit too conspiratorial, I guess. Thank you so much to Sunday Baby for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Why am I bullish on Facebook? Because if, if you look at the PE, you look at how much cash they're making, and also like the fact that they had they had uh they, they had some growth last quarter. I, I just think that's really cheap. I, I think it's almost like a value stock at, at this level. Is the screen frozen? No, it's not frozen. Um but again, that's not that's not like a suggestion or anything. That's just what I'm doing. I've heard Facebook stock is the new meta. Very funny. Okay. Anyway, we should be starting a second. So let me minimize everything. Um, okay. They said three minutes. How long ago? Let me open Slack. They said three minutes at 43. So we should be starting now. This guy plays Nidorf. So I'm probably going to play E4. How long do I play chess? You mean how many years have I played? I played since I was seven. So I'm now uh, 28 years old. So I've been playing for about 21 years. Uh, no, my background for Slack is not dark. Uh, it's just that when I, it's basically that's chat. Chat is what's dark. Chat I have on the, I always have chat on this left, uh, the left hand, like the leftmost corner of the second monitor. And then I have my stream labs right next to it as well. And then Slack is, is light. So when you see all that dark, it's, it's not Slack. That's just chat and stream labs. So, all right. Anyway, should be starting. Why don't we start? Let me open Slack. Three minutes. I said that a while ago. Chat. Yeah, I've been in dark mode, of course. Yeah. Oh, uh, why did God move to the U.S.? God moved to the U.S. a long, long time ago. I think he just moved to U.S. because uh, I think his they they he his father him everybody they just wanted to get out of the U.S.S.R. I think that I I don't I don't know the specifics though. I think he just so much the twelfth doctor doctor for the nine months. The twelfth th doctor R just. Okay. Why why haven't we started? We open Slack again. Uh, second cam is needed. You guys can actually see the second cam. It's it's right it's right it's right there. You can see it right above where I'm pointing. That's the second cam. Okay, what did they they wrote something? Let me almost slack and see what they say. Oh, they said incoming. Okay, so here we go. Round two. All right. Last year he car was 33. Now he says he's 34. When do the lies end? <laughs> yeah, I I mean it's objectively an easier pairing, but that doesn't mean it's a pushover. I mean. That doesn't mean anything. Thanks so much to Joao Kagera for the prime. Thanks so much. Thanks so much to Sam the Chelsea for tier one. No, we didn't hit the pineapple gold. We're not going to hit it because I'm not streaming. Okay. We're not streaming enough days. Uh, we're not streaming enough days days to hit it since I'm taking taking like three days off now every week. Uh, okay. Now I've lost. I did lose this guy by the way. To be clear, I lost him in um. I lost him in an Arena Kings at the end of one where I barely scraped by. So he is not a pushover by any stretch. Now I'm going to take and play something weird. I'm going to go check. Uh, I guess I'll go 92. I don't know if it's the best move. Just castles, I guess. Probably Rook C1. Maybe A3, B4. Now, I can obviously trade. I think I'm just going to go B4, though. I could have traded and got Knight D2. I don't really like it so much, though. So I'm just going to try to play against this bad bishop. That's my plan, at least. He plays F5. Very, very logical human move. Let's go Knight B3. I don't know if I like Knight B3 the more I think about it, but... Oh, he goes Knight G5, which... Seems kind of like a strange move to me. Again, I do need to remember though. This is uh, this is three zero. There's no um. There's no increment, so I can't really get too low on time. Maybe I try to route the knight to reroute my knight to e five. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to reroute the knight to e five here. This this makes actually a lot of sense. It's not the not the like it's not. Perfect, but I think I go F4 95 here actually. This this makes a lot of sense. And then I close close everything kind of. Go here, maybe trade, trade off. And go here, put pressure on the pawn. I can still trade. 
Was bishop b8? I think I'm just going to go a4, b5, a5 or something. Go a5. I mean, he can go b5 again. Uh, yeah, he can go b5. I guess I'll reroute. I'm going to take and go knight c5. It's just he's got a dead b-shop. Uh, I forgot he had queen e4. Let's go... Uh, let's go here, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I did this. Uh, I also put the wrong rook on e1, too. Now, can I play knight e5 and trap the queen? I don't think I can. Let's go here and take. Of course, I want to open up the diagonal here. Super important that I do this. So here, he maybe is getting... No, I mean, he's getting his queen trap. Yeah, this guy is not cheating, you guys. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I feel bad for Gata. I, I feel bad for, for Gata, but like... I mean, God, as I think about like... First of all, I'm winning in this game. Secondly, Gata was winning at least like three of those games. So it's kind, it's kind of hard. Kind of hard. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> like, kind of, kind of, kind of difficult. Um... Yeah, I feel like God was winning on the board in most of those games. And also, if someone's cheating, they're gonna be using they're gonna be using a lot of time. So yeah. It's just what it is. Okay, let's keep going. One up. He's playing E4. I don't even remember what I'm doing, but I'll play I'll play Karo Khan, why not, in honor of Levi. I'm gonna do something slightly dubious with Bishop H5. Now the thing is I can also trade, maybe. Let's just trade. play h5 and I play like e6 so many options here I'm gonna go f6 maybe Bishop f7 knight d7 have h5 also god has completely win a second to last game yeah I mean that's the thing like it's the thing like you know I, I want to be like oh yeah I mean but it's like nothing was going on I mean the god god was just out playing the dude he he was literally just out playing him so yeah I feel like I've done something wrong in this game. I think I have to. Eh, I think I have to play e5 and give him the bishop pair, but I should be okay. Okay, it goes there, which is a little bit strange. Also, not the best move. Let's play. Actually, how do I do this? I guess I'll go here. Takes and maybe g6 or. And now I'm going to go h5, because I have g6 later. I can also play g6 as well. He's staying for a long time. He goes there. I mean, I, I, I assume I should take and play, like, g6 here. Again, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to say, like, this guy is not cheating. Not, not even remotely close to it, actually. Um, knight b3 is a good move, actually. A very, very good move by my opponent. I, mean, I guess I try to reroute. Maybe I go, like... I can play g5 here. I can also play b5. I can... Actually, it's getting a little bit unpleasant for me. I kind of did misplay this just a little bit. Dave pressing button. Just resub I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go for this. I don't know if it's right, but I'm gonna try it. Go... Here, I guess, 96. I don't really like my position here, I have to say. So I trade. I go here, go 96. I mean, I'm very slightly worse. Go here. I could have gone king e8 too, I suppose, but. Okay, go c3, logical. Somehow I have to develop, though. This is my problem. But time actually is time is on my side so because time is on my side here i'm not really kind of pressed that much there's 92 um how do i actually play this i'm gonna do this this might be wrong but i'm gonna go for it. i'm gonna go b5 and i mean i hope this is okay okay this yeah now this should be okay because now i can bring my knight in and now i go rook c8 and now i should be fine Even king e8, king, king b7. Okay, goes there. 
Knight c7 almost works. It almost works. Not quite, though. So let's just go. Um, hmm. Knight c7. Okay, 7, king e8. Wait, no, no, I've got, I've got a move. So, um, wait a second, wait a second. Let's, let's just go here. Keep it simple. This isn't, this isn't good though. This is not pleasant. I'm in a little bit of trouble here, potentially. I don't know what that does exactly. I guess I go back. A little bit scary, but I'm still up on time. As long as I keep the time edge, I, I have decent chances. If it goes knight c5, I mean, I guess I go, I guess I go back. My knight on e7 is absolutely horrible. Go here. Yeah, I, I just have to move quicker. I'm, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Okay, it goes there. So I go f5, try to break the structure a little bit. Now I have knight d5 also. Um. Actually, let's go here. I, I think I have to make a draw. If, if I... I have to be willing to take the draw here because it's a little bit too dangerous. Knight d3. I guess I go here. He's already starting to make some mistakes. Yeah, now now he's starting to make some mistakes. Let's go. It's still so tricky, though. This knight is so annoying. I guess I'll go here. Oh, geez. Did I just blunder? I did blunder. Crud. Unbelievable. Wait. Oh, I can't go there. What am I even doing? Wait, no, no, I've checked maybe. Wait a second. Okay, now I'm fine. He's got no time though. Yeah, he's just got no time. Thanks so much, Dave, pressing buttons for the 12th thing of Velivus for the tier one. Okay, two up, two down. Let's try to win this game quickly. Like I said, he is a little bit dangerous. I mean, I did play him. Fortunately, I played him in Arena Kings some time back, and I do remember him being just a little bit dangerous. Let's go here. Not even sure why I did that. But let's go here, I guess. A knight of one. I'm going to do something unusual. I'm going to do this and this. Probably not right, but let's go for it. Although, actually, this might work because I have queen c4 check, too. Uh, every Hikaru is game number one. This is winning. I slightly misplayed this. I blundered. Wait, I have this. I won. Pretty much. That's a pretty con concise uh, explanation. I guess I have knight e4. I also have knight c4, maybe. Yeah, let's go knight c4. Knight e5. Uh, but now I can take and take, I think. So I have knight... Uh, he's got, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm just winning. I have knight c4. Attack the queen. Move the queen up upon. GG's. We're into the semis. Very good. Yeah. Now, now I should... I mean, now it's just a matter of good technique and finishing off this game. I'm up a pawn, very clean position. I mean, I can even go bishop a3, maybe. That allows that force. Uh, actually, bishop h3 is good. It forces c5, and then I take. And then I have knight a5 or something. So here, target the rook. Knight a5 is a threat. Everything's super weak for black. We got this.
now I go here. Oh, I missed knight c3, but luckily I have rookie one. I missed knight c3, but I have rookie one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He misses it. Just take. Okay. Now we just take. Okay, I'm up two pawns. Very clean. Now it's just time to mop it up. Go here. Take the open lane. Queen f3, h3. Just create the Lufthansa on the king side here. No, no, no ice skaters. Uh, I'll just go here, bishop a5, keep it very, very simple. Basically, my idea here is just to trade off all the materials. And we're going to get a win. Is mop it up a new one? Uh, not really. I mean, I just trade everything. I go here. I mean, I'm up two pawns, so I'm, I'm very happy to just trade. All right, so we're going to get the win. This will be 3-0. Let's go... I mean, actually, I have Queen H5 here. King E7, Rook E8, and that's game. All right, we got the win. Three up, three down. So I think this means we're going to play... Uh, we're going to play the winner of the Benjamin match, I think. So let's see. Um, Benjamin is playing Minlay, right? So let's pull this up. All right, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to go run to the restroom, um, and then we will... Uh, I'll, I'll come back. Okay, Minlay is up 2-0, so there's a good chance I'm just going to play Minlay. I'll take a short break. Be right back, you guys. All right, what's going up? Every what's going on, everybody? What do we have? Two one here. So, um, Benji is trying. Benji's trying here. What's what's happening? What is knight b one? By the way, what is this opening? Also, I just want to see what Benji did. Is this good? I just want to see this for for future prep. Okay, feels like Benji missed it, but. Feels like you missed the boat, but it would still go on. Thank you so much to Christopher for the eight months. Thank you so much to Christopher. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Yoink is opening now. Exactly, of course. Benji Gotham's dog is playing right exactly now it looks like um uh what's the other match I didn't see the other match is Jospin versus uh yeah there are a lot of matches going on Bornick is playing I mean Bornick is playing too oh Benjamin 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 what is this Benjamin oh uh, Benjamin come on In his words, LOL, pathetic. Yeah. Okay, so Benjamin's out. So this means I play Min Lei in the first guaranteed semifinal. There are a bunch of other important games going on. So let's see. So Bornick is playing right now. Okay, Bornick is up 2-1 on... on um, a 2-1 on... On uh, Joe Bava. So this is a big match, too. Do I play chess for money or are you just passionate? I love chess. Who doesn't love chess? Okay, let me see. Where's the uh, graph? I have it up here. One second. Where were we? Um, wrong one. Let me see where here we are okay okay so here we go um why is it not showing why is it not showing correctly oh i've got the wrong window that's why okay one second here we go so I'm going to play Minlay in the semis, of course, as always. Um, there we go. All right. Okay, so we're going to be playing Minlay in the semifinals. Um, see what happens here. 
Will today be a long stream? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ending after after Arena Kings. Uh, I, I don't intend to, at least, but we'll see. Market decided it's going to be hype about, about growth for now. Yeah, I mean, market looks completely fine. Oh, wow, NASDAQ's up 2%. Holy mackerel. Jeez, I just only noticed that. Wow. Apple's up like 3% too. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I just yeah, I just only caught that out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I had a feeling Jerome was gonna say the right things. I mean, we're we're doing so poorly of late that he kind of had to say the right things. Okay, what's going on here? Uh thank you so much to FB Zombies for the love months. Thank you so much to Facebook Zombies. <laughs> the good old shock market, yeah. Um, what's going on here? So Jabava has this jumbo pony on E4. King F2, Queen D4, King G2. Not, not clear, not clear. Let's see. Yeah. Anyway, 6,900 subs. Yeah. Big shout out to everybody. Thank you so much for the love and support. You guys are all amazing. Um, so let's see. What, what do we have here? I mean, this is tough to play. I think Queen D1 maybe is the only move to go Queen F3. I think Jobab is probably going to win this game. I don't know. I don't know. Jobaba could win against Bortnik. Yeah. I mean, anything can happen. Problem is Bortnik's so low on time here that I don't think a draw is realistic. But we'll see. Spam this Guava to support Jobaba. <laughs> Spam this Guava. Okay. Um, now, I don't like D3 because Queen D3 now or Queen F3. I actually don't like what Jobaba's. Actually, Queen D3 allows Queen C1. No, but Queen D3, had, oh wait, Queen D3 was actually, was Queen D3 a draw? I mean, Queen D3 looked really good because you had this idea of the right triangle, maybe. Anyway, let's see, okay. Never count out Joe Mama. Yes, Queen F3, of course, and now you just, now, now you just sit and wait, you just sit. You just sit with King G2. Not easy to win for Black here. I, I'm not even sure Black is winning, honestly. But now, okay, now Black is winning because he hangs the B-Pawn. Yeah, just Queen B5 I thought was playable, but... Okay, no time, too many Pawns. Yeah, I mean, B3, B2. Or this, I guess. Uh, now you win the Rook. Okay. All right, what do we have here? Probably castle, maybe knight of three. Okay, maybe rookie one here, maybe knight d4. Am I excited to play the world champion of semis? I played him last week, I think, and I beat him. Oh uh, yeah, Jubaba outplayed boarding. It was a great game. Um, what platform do I use? Uh, I'm just looking on like Yahoo Finance or Google Finance right now. If I was actually looking, I would go uh, to Ameritrade or Fidelity. What music am I listening to? We're listening to ABBA. What does my lead chess name stand for? Well, uh, TSMH would be TSM Hikaru and FTX would be uh, Crypto, the crypto company. Thank you so much to Billy CW for the prime. Thank you so much to Billy CW. Appreciate it. Yeah, Mark is just going bananas as expected. Knew I should have bought more Facebook once they beat earnings. Just knew it. Well, I get into a poker trend. I played poker. I, I mean, I played the World Series, you guys. Um, so I, I played the World Series uh, back in 2011. I mean, I just, I don't really like it. And again, I think at the end of the day, it really depends what the purpose is. And as I've said, when I play a lot of these games... I don't really want to play it just to, you know, just to flip a coin. I, I don't want to play for that reason. And um, and so, like, in terms of, like, what they're doing, like, on YouTube or Twitch right now, it's not my... It really just doesn't interest me because, like, yes, you can flip you can flip coins. You can you can win the win the all-ins or you can lose them. But that's just... I don't... I don't that just doesn't interest me at all. Um, so, yeah, that, that's just what I would say. It just doesn't interest me. Um... Because, I mean, I'll give you an example. It's like, if, if you look at what happened the other night, it's all about expected value, though. 
you can't. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know exactly what the odds were. Odds were on that final. Um, on, on that big like four way all in hand. But like ace nine is not a big big favorite against eight. What was it? Ace eight, queen five, and was it? I guess it was ace three or something. I mean, the odds of a chop there I think are pretty high. But yeah, it's just it's one of those things. And also then you have to play over and over, and it's just yeah, it doesn't interest me at all. And the other problem is like if I play, I don't. Really, I mean, I know people are doing it for content because of course they're basically. I mean, it's just a free roll for everybody but i i don't know it just doesn't really it doesn't excite me play for fun though just for content nothing serious but the problem is like how, how do you really do that i mean how do you do that you can't really i mean it was ace nine versus ace eight versus ace three versus queen five of course because mr beast made a 25k straddle it doesn't doesn't seem fun to me um you saw me rage quit not not a real rage quit but yeah i was annoyed by a hand so you can't take bad beats not really about bad beats I mean yeah if someone makes a bet and you lose that's fine but when you just end up with silly coin flips four-way all in pre-flop where with a bunch of random ha hands that's that's doesn't interest me um it just doesn't interest me by the way Bornick has an advantage here Bornick's looking pretty good here because the bishop on b4 and the bishop on e4 are not good I mean it's good content because Helmuth basically just lost his mind like a complete lunatic for literally no good reason c4 here only move I think or else d5 and you're getting crushed yeah that's just that's just hack poker and too many people in all-ins yeah I mean it just it just doesn't interest me so um let's see what's gonna happen here uh by the way Bornick is gonna win again I think ay 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 rook b3 oh man rook g there, I guess there's no actual mate here for black but man this looks terrible yeah let's watch Helmuth Malding compilation I mean I could obviously okay so Bornick's gonna win so he's gonna be in the uh he's gonna be in the semifinals yeah ace nine versus ace eight heads up is, is of course much better if you're playing because of course I mean you're dominating with the nine with the kicker uh but it wasn't it wasn't a straight up heads up situation um So yeah I mean that's why it just it doesn't interest me for that reason alone um Knight f2 and then Bishop f5 King d1 I guess Rook a1 or Bishop c3 here Bishop c3 might be GG for black Wow Jobava gets beaten 3-2 yeah 3-2 all right so I guess that's one of the semis what is the other one that's still going Jospin I think that's the other one that's still going let's see uh Okay, Jospin and Champ are playing. It's two and a half, one and a half. Jose has to win this game, by the way. But he is winning. He is winning this game. It's going to be two and a half, two and a half. He's going to win this game. I, uh, I think he's going to win. Maybe not. I think he just made a blunder. Because now Knight's getting back in. And the King is close to the pawn. Knight f4. King e2. Knight f4. Oh, this might be a draw now. H5 and g4. This should be a draw with correct play. I think if you, if you run the King up king f1 now and king e2 this sh yeah this should be a draw now Jose Jose can't it's not good enough king e4 is a draw or this and king e4 not good enough not good enough it's going to be a draw and Jose is going to be eliminated in the semi-final g4 and king e4 and and there's too much time I mean f4 for example or yeah even the oh he blunders rook a4 oh Raunak blunders back though Roundock blunders rook a4 very dirty by Jose now now Jose should actually win King d4 was a huge blunder yeah 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 Jose should win now it's not a draw anymore this is losing now this is a nice trick no but the draw of the match is over because it's 3-2 that's why if, if Roundock draws the game I mean he wins the match yeah I mean this I mean everything's winning here for black King g3 knight f5 or king h3 also plenty good there's also rookie three rookie three rook f3 very simple okay so we're gonna get a tiebreaker here Okay. 
Who's the current Doyle Brunson of poker? I don't actually know. So we're gonna get a we're gonna get a tiebreaker now. I think they have to play a bullet game if I'm not mistaken. Wait, what? Oh, I clicked. Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong wrong person. Sorry. Um. Oh, I clicked Orange Ghost. Sorry, not Ronak. Where's Ronak's game? Who do I favor in Bullet? I don't know. Thank you to Edgelorette for the Prime. Thank you so much to Jalvin Konis for the 2. Austin PM for the 4. Miles Edwards Wright for the 5. Thank you so much. Minlight doesn't have a GM title yet. No. Um, okay, started. Okay, 2.5, two 2.5. And two and bullet game for all the marbles. Would I be able to tell... Um, would I be able to tell, uh, tell if I'm playing Magnus or Wesley just by moves not necessarily but I would be able to tell if it's a very strong player that I would be able to tell um yeah yeah that's what I would say it depends it depends who we're talking about but I would be able to sm like I can smell a rat like you'll notice that um there are a lot of times when I, I can sense and there's something that's just wrong with the account I, like and that means it's either like either it's someone who's like smurfing or cheating or it's a really strong top player so um so yeah, basically I can have some sense of if it's a really good player, but that doesn't mean that I know right out or outright who it is. Um Yeah, smell this right, exactly. Yeah. Uh who's gonna win? I don't know. I like I like Jose's position a little bit more here. It feels easier to play for white. Uh maybe knight g3, maybe g4. Yeah. Probably rook f8 and f5. Again, Ronak's playing pretty solidly here. Rook f8, of course. Maybe knight f eh, but then trade in 97 and f5. I don't, I don't want... Uh, that feels wrong. Is there a knight h6 takes knight f6 trick, maybe? But now the problem is... Okay, it goes g4 now. Would I be able to put, tell players 26 or 2700 apart from obvious players? That probably not. But over the course of a game, say it's like a 35 move game, for example... I'll be able, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to sense something. Okay, both, I think Jose is going to win because his position, it's just much easier for white to play here, I feel like. Like, maybe even G5 here. Although G5, maybe G6. Queen E3, I don't like that. Knight CE7, good move. So what do we what do we have here? Um Ronak's gotta find a move here. Ronak's in really bad shape. Um plays f6. It's it's an attempt. Maybe you just stack. Yeah, you just stack here. Rook g1. And the problem is Ronak doesn't have obvious moves. There's just no obvious moves here. I mean h4, h5, ooh, h5, g5. I mean look at these bastions on e4 and f5. I mean, they're just such great bastions. Knight c5? Knight c5 missed. Knight c5 was GG. But now there's a fought. Um, oh, wait, no, it's still knight c5, so no. B6, maybe, and then f5. Okay. F5. I'd go f5 here. I just cracked the center immediately. I would have gone f5 there. Now there. Eh. If he gets f5, you got to go f5 here. Just Now it gets very. Bishop e7. This gets very, very tricky. I think it's still winning for uh, for Jose, but it's tricky now. Rook f4 and rook h4, maybe king g2. Yeah, Jose is gonna win, I think, but it's still a five, of course. Got to go rook f5. Yeah. Maybe rook b6. Maybe bishop b c6. C6. No, now knight d5 and b4. And I'll lay a lay go the pawns or a5 and b4. Yeah. C5 maybe? Only move c5. King, what is what is Jose doing? Now the king gets to d5 and you have rook f6. What is this? King d5 and, and now like rook f6. Rook f6 and now rook a6 or rook f4. Uh rook h4. Or king c6 even. King c6 made sense too. King c6. He missed it. Now, now, now Jose's gonna win. He had to go king c6, king b5, and he would have won the game, I think. 
Yeah, A6. The pawns are just too fast. Very, very, very close game. Rook G8, maybe? Yeah, Rook B1. Nice. So E4 takes and B8. And, yeah, Jose wins. Yeah, great game. I mean, Roundock actually should have. He should. I think. I, I think I would have won this position if I had Roundock's position here and I played King Six. I think if I got this position against Jose with the time situation, I think I would have actually won this with Black. This King C Six move. I let me see what the eval is. Yeah, it says zeros. It says Rook B One, King B Five is zeros. Um, because you can't get the pawns rolling. They're they're all stuck. I mean, everything is just completely glued here. And now I have Rook H Four, Rook H Five, Rook H Two, G Four, and it's yikes big yikes okay let's see so when do i play against min Lei? let me see let me open slack no i'm not it's not like a criticism of brown i'm just saying that i think i would have probably um oh semis are at the same time okay interesting so they change it so the semifinals are happening at the same time they said in five minutes so i'm gonna stretch my legs and we'll be right back in one second you guys okay playing min Lei. i'm gonna play e4 this time just change it up a little bit oh that's right he likes to play this one yeah For this one. What's that? What's this music song? Yeah, I'm also not paying attention either. Literally the worst possible start I could have asked for. Um, I mean, I have Rook D1 here, Knight C3. It's, it's, it's probably okay. I just don't like it. I also have Knight G5. Okay. It goes G6. I mean, I'll play Knight C3. I have Knight G5, of course. To hit the pawn. Knight D4, Rook E1, maybe. Wow, I'm kind of surprised by that, actually. Let's go here, Knight E4. Just a classic end game. Very slightly better for me, but probably nothing. Um, nothing particularly special. Actually, Rook D hangs a pawn, kind of. Maybe not really. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing this kind of poorly. <laughs> but a little bit too loose here in this first game. Yeah, he's got Rook B8, which for some reason I forgot was a move. Let's go here. I can't really lose, though. That's a good thing. So it goes knight d4. I guess I'll play rook c4. E8. Logical move. Um, I think g3 is fine. Hopefully this isn't a blunder. I feel like I'm very close to just making a big blunder. I do have rook d1 also, though. Rook d1 doesn't look right. So let's just go here and take, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, what am I doing, actually? I do have Knight G5. Yeah, what actually am I doing here? I'm actually playing this very poorly. I have to go here in Rook D2. I, I think I'm okay, but this is not what I wanted at all. Yeah, now, now I'm fine. Now I can't really lose. I don't think... Yeah, I can always go... I mean, F3 seems like the right move with King F1 and King E2. So I, I have F4 and Knight F3. Although I actually, I just miscounted. I thought my King got to C2 in this position. And it just doesn't. Now, do I go Knight C4 is also a question. Or knight f3, because they're both playable. I think I'm going to go to c4, because knight f3 gives him some e4 nonsense. Although... I think knight c4 was wrong. I think knight f3 was actually the best move, maybe. Still very tricky, though. I mean, all pre moves is a safe pre move. I don't think it's what he'll do, though. He has, what, bishop c5 or something? Thanks so much to Cessna for the prime. Thanks for Cessna. Appreciate it. Okay, of course I take with a pawn.
I mean, I have something like knight d6. I assume e6 must be right, though. Yeah, this is a good move by him. Go here. Hmm, probably just a draw now. Question is, there's some way. Yeah, I guess I just put the pawns on light squares. It's just a draw. underscore 294 just took five dollars out of bezos's pocket thanks less than three yeah this is just i mean uh what am i doing actually i have to think first wait i just go here check and takes i mean wait what am i actually wait what am i actually doing here bishop e7 no, it's just a draw, right? Okay, I guess I'll just go here. This this has to be a draw. What the heck am I doing? Actually, what like legitimately what am I doing here? No, I mean I'm drawing the game. What am I doing though? I mean I nearly lost this game. I came very close to just losing this game. I mean it's Terrible. Thank you to Fab for the seven. Very, very bad. Yeah, very close to losing that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go back to basics. Hmm. Let's take and play C5. Same as always. Can obviously trade again. I can. I mean, we had this before, I think. So I'm just going to trade and maybe play like queen b6 or something. Let's go here. Yeah, I'm not happy with my play that game. It was very poor. Knight b3 seems a little bit strange to me. I'll go here and queen c7 or something. Seems a touch odd. Still completely fine, but it feels a little bit iffy. And I have like knight e5 ideas, h5. I mean... Objectively, this is this of course is a draw, but I feel like I can try to play at least. This f3, I think that's a mistake. Definitely a step in the wrong direction. I take and play knight f95. Maybe I just go here right away and just trade. I mean, we played this end game earlier, something very similar to this, but with only one set of knights on the board. I, mean, I feel like with two sets of knights on the board, there's some weaknesses. If it's knight d2, I go b5, of course. Not so sure about this, I have to say. I'm going to go here. I have knight c4. There's rook a8. Now, I do have knight d3 and knight b2, maybe. I also have knight c5, maybe. I'm going to go knight c5. I'm trying to angle for something with these double pawns. I'm trying to play against the double pawns somehow. It goes knight e4. I can play knight d3 here. Knight d3 is what I want to do if I'm trying to win this game. Um, I think I can try to win. Let's try to win this game. It's only a pawn, and it's not a big issue. Okay, so I go check in here. I mean, I have F5 threats here. The Knights are very soft. F3 is weak. I mean, everything's kind of hanging here. He plays G4. What the heck is G4? Wait, what is G4? I guess I take. Okay, he goes F4, which maybe it's an idea because I see what he's trying to do is he's trying to get like some F5 nonsense. This, I mean... Yeah, he goes f5 because he has uh, knight g5 and it's mate. I mean, I guess this is probably a draw, unfortunately. Quite unfortunate. He finds a very nice tactic, though. Yeah, I guess it's just a draw. I think. 
Although I kind of, eh, nah, it's a draw because I mean, it's just nothing either side can do here. So he's happy to make these draws with with uh, with white. Interesting. Oh, does he have knight g5? Wait, wait, I wait. Did I miss something? I almost just missed knight. Wait, I, I almost missed knight g5. I'm, I'm very lucky that doesn't work actually. Jeez, that was bad. Okay. I think I just go like. Okay, I think I just go here and make the draw. I actually didn't even see that. Jeez, that's bad. Go here, knight f6, king g5, and I'm fine. I think. I also have g5 as well. Rook c7. Okay, I can play knight e1 here, I guess. Seems like the safe way to make the draw. Or not. No, that was a horrible move by me. Absolutely horrible move. I, I just basically walked myself into a checkmate. Oh, very poor. This is still a draw with correct play, though, so. And it goes there. It doesn't really concern me. I go here. Uh huh. He's finding tricks actually. Go here. That should be a draw. Oh, he's got this move, which I also. <sighs> what am I doing? Yeah, I just threw this game kind of. Um, I'm gonna flag him if I can. Okay, or not. Fine. Yeah, it's not the right time. I I mean, I could have really gone for the messy flag, but it's not the right time. Okay, he's gonna do this one again play h3 I don't maybe I should have gone for it. I don't really know I mean I'm not playing king f1 here by the way because I did king f1 against him before and I got into a lot of I won that game in, at the end of title Tuesday but it wasn't good go here trade some pieces plays f6 reasonable I think I play like rook d1 I mean, very drawish position, of course. Wow, he takes, which I don't like at all. Um, well, maybe I, it's not that I don't like it. It's that I thought... Oh, why didn't I take with the bishop, actually? Yeah, I'm actually an idiot. I should have taken with the bishop there. There's a pawn in h7 that's kind of hanging, but I think I just moved the king back and play for d4 at some point. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the way I've played this game at all. I mean, I've really not played this well. Let's go here. I think B4 also is bad, but whatever. Yeah, I'm coming out very flat in these openings. I'm just not playing particularly well at the moment. Very, very flat. Um, let's go here. Here goes Bishop D5. I mean... Hopefully D3. I mean, again, I just don't like the way I'm playing right now. I'm just not playing very well. Playing bad openings very shaky it was rook d8 which is not the best move but i mean I'm, I'm hard pressed to prove why i'm not just worse here and play c4 
play b5 also. Okay, it goes there, which... Am I happy to see or not happy? I don't actually... I think, okay, I just have to move quicker. I'm just moving too slowly. I gotta speed up here. I can play c4. Again, I feel like I'm just... I'm just a little bit too slow, and I don't really know why. I go here. I move the knight back, of course. Yeah, my rhythms are not very good in this game, or in this match so far. Really not very good. Um, I'll go here. Yeah, he finds work D3, which is good. Um, I just go here and work C2, though. I mean, I have B6, maybe. CJDZA just subscribed. Don't I have some tricks here on my crate? Oh, I don't have tricks. Lovely. Ah, oh, just great. Okay, just great. Oh my god, what am I even doing here? Playing this so badly again. My rhythms just are not good at the moment. This is not very appealing. It's still only one game, but yeah. I'm gonna have to bail out and make a draw here, probably. Of course, knight c4 is a bad move, too. Should have put the other knight there. I don't know if I like that move. Again, time is balanced. I guess I'll try to... I mean, the thing is, it's... Um... So here it's two knights again. We're in the same kind of boat with the knights. Um, I think I go here. Oh, I should have gone to d8 also. Plays H5. Um, too many. There are too many knights here all over the board. Jeez. Like I, I literally, can't, I can't see where the knights are. It's ridiculous. And now I draw. Jeez. 94. Yeah, it's a draw. <sighs> Can't see the knights. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I really need to shake it off. Very, very bad. Thanks so much for Trick MD. Thank you to Sidza. Thank you so much. Okay. No nonsense. Now I need to focus. I mean, I've, I've had a better end game the last three, last two times in this. So I just need to put it away now. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I just don't believe this. So queen b6 again. Yeah, I mean, I just don't believe this. Let's play rook d8. I mean, he keeps playing the same thing and just hoping for draws in a slightly worse position. So I just have to beat him from the slightly better position. It's just that simple. It was 94. I guess I take. Let's 
see. Again, slightly better, but I have to prove it. Let's go H5. Playing against a structure again. Okay, it goes queen e2. I mean, a5 makes... I'm going to go a5, e5, maybe. I just don't believe this. I, I just... I know that I'm better. I just have to prove it. That's that's my issue. I'm not proving that, that I have the advantage in these lines. This e4. That feels slightly wrong. Let's go here. Connect the pawns. Plays a4, which again doesn't look quite right. But I have no way to punish. I mean, I guess I'll just go g6 here. Knight g4, knight e4, b3. Go here, target the pawn. Queen e3 gives me knight g4. I should be better here somehow, but it's it feels so minute that maybe I'm just making. I just feel like maybe I'm making a mistake going into this these lines. Because the advan I have an advantage, but it's so small. It's B4. Okay, now first of all, that allows me to take and maybe go rook D4. Do I go for it or not is the question. Life is short. Life is short. I'm going to go for this. This might be a big mistake, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for this. Hopefully, it's not a big mistake. But I think we're going to end up in an end game here where I'm better. Because his king is bad. His pawns are bad. My assumption. We'll see if I'm right or I'm wrong. Yeah, life is short. I might as well just do this. I mean, if he doesn't take, he's going to be down a pawn here. That's. But now I have d3. And I have d2, and he loses. I think he missed d3. Yeah, this is just GG. He missed d3. But he takes. Or not. He found a trick. Wait, he found a trick. Shoot. I go here. He found a trick. But again, he can't check me because he's getting mated in one move on the back rank here. He found a very nice trick, but I don't think it works. He's... I don't think it works. Oh, it doesn't work. I have D... Wait a second. I have Queen G3. I have D2. I have the entire world at my fingertips. So I'm just going to go for this one with mate in one. Yeah, it's just over. Yeah, there we go. Another good win. Back me. There we go. Two and a half, one and a half. Let's see. Um, no, I'm going to stick with E4. Okay, which one do I want to play? I'm just going to play this one. Yeah, it's D5, takes, takes, and so forth. I think knight b5 is a line. I'm just going to flatten the board, basically. That's that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to flatten the board. Uh, I think takes and bishop e3 is still completely fine. Because now I can just take. Yeah, I'm just going to flatten the board. I'm going to take all the, all, the, all the jimmy out of the position and make it so that he can't win. Because I haven't been playing great. I got the win there, and a, a draw is good enough. So I'm just going to... I don't care about my rating right now. I'm just going to take the jimmy out of it. I think that's the saying, right? Isn't that the saying? You take the jimmy out of the... Position. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what the saying is. Okay, so he castles, which is uh, not exactly the greatest move. Because now I just take. I mean, he has to try something. Now, the thing is, I can take with a pawn. But the pawn gives sort of more double edged chances. So I'm just going to take with the knight to keep the game very, very black and dry. I'll just castle. If e5, I'll just move the knight. Or even play queen g4. 
It's just it's very it's gonna be very very hard for Black to win here. That's all I'm trying to do. Is I'm just trying to take take all the all the fun out of it. Okay, it does go e5. Okay, so now the thing is, I can also go check a knight of five maybe. So I can take and check. And now I also have rook eight d1, which is a very big threat too. Okay, so he does it. So I take, of course. Now I go check. I go knight knight e3, of course. I don't know if I'm so enthused by this, to be quite honest. Oh, uh, he goes king b8. I mean, I can go knight e3, I guess, and rook d1. I mean, I'm just trying to kill the position, basically. I'm not trying to win. I'm just trying to take all the fun out of it. Uh, I guess rook d1 is fine. Queen c7, just like queen e2. Let's go here, force him to trade. Plays f5, that's a mistake. I have knight d5 here. Now I have b4, and he's going to lose. Valiant effort, though. I go b4. I can just take. He goes e4 or something, hoping. And I just go here. Just going to go in for the kill with queen a5 and checkmate. Very, very rudimentary and basic, but it's good enough. No fun. Yeah, no, I'm not in the mood for fun. I mean, I haven't played a good match. I should have lost that third game, probably. I didn't lose it, and now, um, and now, yeah, I'm gonna win this one. Okay, it goes queen c7 to play bishop h2. I mean, it might not. I mean, he he takes. I go here. I goes queen c6. So he's trying to do something. I mean, rook d4, rook d5. Everything is just kind of win. Actually, if I check, he goes, if I go B5, wait, if I go B5, Queen C5, Rook D5, I have all the time in the world here. So actually B5 looks very clean. Queen C5, check, King C7. Wait, but Knight D5, he can actually take. Wait, so no, let's just go. Let's just go here. Because now I'm threatening Rook C4 and I still have Queen A8. And again, I'm, I'm up so much time here that I can kind of just chill and just relax. See what he does. He'll probably resign, is my guess. Because he's, he's down a minute here. Down a minute. It's probably a lost position. Not much he can really do. Yeah, this is game over. He'll probably just resign, is my guess. He goes E3. Uh, random move to try and confuse matters. I mean, I'll just, I mean, let's go here. I mean, 16 seconds, just, yeah, nothing you can do. Yay! Yeah, we got the win. All right, thank you so much to Xenocide for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Xenocide. Just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Four I mean, I can do anything here to win, but I, I don't really want to play around. Okay, um... Just go here. I, I don't even care about the knight. Yeah. All right, we got the dub. Okay, we win, we win the match three and a half. Uh, th we win the match um, by a score of three and a half, one and a half. Not the greatest finish ever for me, but good enough. Uh, I won that critical fourth game, and we move into the finals. It actually wasn't totally clean, but good thing it didn't matter. Minlay's like, I wish. Well, the thing is, it wasn't clean because I didn't need to win. So, like at this point, I'm already like I'm chilling because I know a draw is good enough. Like a draw is good enough here, so I'm already just chilling here. Um, but yeah, I was I was definitely not clean. I mean, here of course, uh, obviously there there are probably twenty ways to win. Um, I think queen a4, yeah, I should have just gone queen c2. I mean, this is just the easy way. Just, I mean, that's an easy way. f3, king f2 is another easy way. But yeah, all right. So we end up, anyway, we win. Bortnik wins as well. So let me see. Let me adjust the table. What a surprise. I played Bortnik again in the final um, for the, uh, for the for like the millionth time. I'm uh, Color me shocked. Color me shocked. What else is new in this, in this, in this world? So the key is I just need to stay calm again. 
we we did we did go down two zero against them last week as i recall um in the semis so uh where's my slack yeah queen c2 is not a very good move i know oh he had rook d1 right but yeah anyway three minutes till the final they say okay so i'm gonna just i'm just gonna clear my head and we'll we'll be back in a second you guys oh it's gonna clear my head all right you guys we're back Maybe it is grind for the 10 thing is smellios as well thank you so much appreciate it all right you guys so we're headed to the final match against Bornick best of five obviously let me um actually let me adjust a little bit be a little bit so, there we go all right final match all, all all to win all to lose 3500 to the winner 2000 to the loser uh best of five and away we go thank you soyuz for the 10 months let me turn on the second cam obviously and there we go five dollars out of bezos's pocket thanks so yeah like your shirt today i like your shirt thank you appreciate it yeah all right uh two thousand dollars uh for second place 3500 to the winner so big big final match yeah so it's 3500 and 2k more than more than title tuesday he says he has a headache okay uh doesn't matter yeah I'm gonna turn 26 this year that'd be pretty funny um okay three minutes will finally say okay so I'm ready he has a headache well yeah but I mean it just means you focus oh uh, no I'm having some vitamin C you guys why is this one prized higher when it's way easier to win uh, what do you mean it's way easier to win? I, I mean, I've had, I'll have to have beaten Bornick, Min Lei, and I mean, I, okay, Gata lost, but I would have had to beat Gata too. Like, I mean, normally I just play like one or two difficult matches in the semis and the finals. So yeah, it's best of five. Yeah, I, I don't know you guys. You're kind of weirding me out. Okay. I didn't actually think about what I wanted to play against Bornick. So I'm, I'm going to play more standard stuff here. Oh, right. He wants to play the King's Indian. That's right. Yeah, he wants to play as King's Indian. I guess I'll go here. Okay. I mean, the funny thing is there's so many ways to play this, uh, but I don't want to spend all day. So I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'll, I'll play it. I'll take the bank. I'll take on the game. Oh, it goes queen a five. That's kind of weird. I didn't expect that. Okay. Let's go a four. Oh, uh, now I can obviously trade. I guess I'll trade. Thank you to Minlay for the raid. Thank you so much to Minlay. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I, just, I have to focus. Wait a second. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, thank you for thank you for the raid, though. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll just give him the I'll just give the pawn back. I, I mean, it's not a big deal. You just play chess here. I mean, I have bishop e3, maybe. I mean, objectively, this should be pretty equal. I have bishop h3. I mean, maybe some tricks like rook b7 at some point. Um, yeah, maybe just like rook b7 right away. I don't like my opening choice actually in this position it's not it's not really what I wanted per se but again hard to believe that I'm not like better here somehow I have bishop h3 now I mean if e7 hangs then it gets very questionable for black I think hmm I mean I guess he can go rook d8 and try to hold Plays rook a3. Interesting choice. Um, I mean, I have bishop c1. I also have knight g2, which is kind of nifty. I kind of like knight g2, actually. I don't know if it's great. I mean, I'm going to go for it, though. I think it's I think it's fine. Seems like a nifty way to hold the bishop and activate the bishop, the scope. I mean, if 95, I just take the pawn. I mean, I think long term, I'm probably winning. Okay, so he does this. He's looking for the counterplay. This h5, which I also don't really understand. I guess I go here. Do you have some knight g4 trick? Oh, he's got some knight g4 trick that I missed, I think. A little bit, little bit loose by me. A little bit too loose. Maybe not actually. Maybe I'm okay still. Not so clear.
thing is Bornig is very very slow I, I have to remember like Bornig's the guy who he takes all that time in the middle game he's the guy who takes forever in the middle game and then at the end and the end game he's just super super fast he goes rook a4 which I think is wrong I think I think he had knight g4 there which is probably very good now though it's still not easy for me to play this that's the one thing like even if I go rook c rook b1 or something my instinct is that I should play bishop c8 some for some reason I don't really know why even but I'm gonna do it just my instinct and my instinct is that somehow I have to have something here I don't know if it's h3 g4 me oh wait oh, that hangs a piece I feel like I should have something here I just don't know how to do it exactly I mean maybe I um like I just know there's something here but again I'm thinking too long once rook a3 I mean maybe I just do this and try to make a draw yeah this should be okay I guess I just go back I don't know I mean why not let's see, have knight c4 now there's knight c4 I have bishop c1 oh my okay fine thanks for the raid but it's like impossible to focus I'm trying I mean I'm trying to play a game here thank you go here he just trapped his own rook okay Thank you to Mean Pigeon. Thank you to the Grim Star for the three. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good start. Good win. Oh, he's going to change it up. He's going to play D4. Okay, interesting. Okay, I think I'm going to play my same uh, same system if he wants to play this. Let's just go C5. Simple. Let's just go here and trade, I guess. Play Z4. Okay, I mean, again, nothing too too exciting. Um, but I do have to be careful here. Actually, let's play an end game. Let's play an end game. I mean, I know I'm marginally worse here. Hmm. Let's just go here, I guess. I know if E7 is right, even, but I feel like I'm playing this kind of poorly, actually. But I think C4 is a big miss. I think 95 might have just been much better for White. Because I can go e5. I can also go... I think e5 and bishop e6 is the right way to play this. I also have rook c8 now. Now, do I go bishop e6 first? I think I do. Because now b5, I have knight a5. If c5, king f7, I think I'm completely fine. Now I go here, and now I go rook d8. Now, I mean, I should be more than fine. He goes there. I don't particularly care. I'll play bishop d8. He can play bishop c5, bishop e7, and make a draw. But I don't care. I'm, I'm up in the match, so a draw is fine. Yeah, I'm up in the match, so I, I don't mind a draw at all here. Yeah, so what? I mean, I'm more than happy with a draw here. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not taking any chances. He wants a draw, he can have his draw. And that's also me, in a way, showing a lot of respect, too. Because I'm not... Um, because I'm not... I, because normally, I, I mean, against most players, I would not force a draw here. I'd be playing on for glory. Okay, I'm gonna go a5 and knight d8. I guard the pawn, guard this, hit a3, d5 is soft, rook c4, bishop d6. <laughs> Drawing with black. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm giving him a lot of respect, basically. 
I'm, I'm maybe too much respect. Wait, doesn't that hang material? I take. Wait, first I have rookie. Wait, is he on tilt a little bit? Is rookie five maybe? Okay, if I go ninety, okay, I'll just go here. Rook C4, he has a very nice rookie five tacked with a with a fork, so that's why I didn't do it. Although I think it probably was okay objectively. He was rookie seven as expected. I feel like I misplayed this. I think I did misplay this, in fact. Hmm. Let's go here. So I'll go here. Because now I'm threatening A3. G3, I mean I guess I just take. I mean I'm up a pawn here, that's the thing. Like. That's a pawn. As they say in as they say in the in the old country, pawn is pawn. It's there. That doesn't. Maybe that should concern me, but I actually don't see it somehow. Cause I'm just gonna go rook b8 and trade. And just be rock solid here. Like I just go rook b8, I trade and there's rook a7. Okay, so I can tr I can also go rook b8. Wait, rook b8? Bishop a5, bishop c5 or something. Yeah, let's go here. Takes, I can go bishop c5. Ah, uh, no, I guess I just I just have to take. Because now his rooks are kind of misplaced. The knight covers all the squares. I should win this game, most likely. Okay, that feels like a blunder somehow, but okay, let's just go here. He has to go rook b7. Now I go here in rook a2, and he's going to suffer. This is a very unpleasant end game. He's down 20 seconds. He's down a pawn. Plays bishop e3. Okay, so I trade. I go here. I mean, I go check. Go here. I have knight c5. That hangs a pawn. Yeah, I mean, this should just be winning. I have to be careful, though, how I play this. Go h5, rook e7. That's not great. If I go rook a2. Yeah, actually, I don't see it. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, it goes there, but now I just go here. And I go king g8, and I'm just winning. Still up 20 seconds. Still very good. Go here. Um, let's just go here, I guess. I'm kind of confused what I'm doing here exactly. What is that? Oh, I plundered mate. Oh my God. What the hell? Oh my God. Oh, I expected King E6. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh. I had the match. That was the match. I win the match right there. I thought he was going to go to e6. I literally just threw the easy win there. Oh my god. I just didn't... Why was I hovering? I was up 10 seconds. Why was I hovering over a square? I shouldn't have been hovering over a square at all. Why was I hovering over a square? I mean, I had 10 extra seconds. I mean, the technique there. Okay, I mean, at least I'm, I'm already out of the gate winning in the second, in this third game. No, it's not about getting cheese. It's that, like, I just shouldn't have been hovering. Like, it's a t trick he should go for. But I just shouldn't have been hovering over the square. I was just sure he'd go King C4. Thank you to GM Jose with the raid. Yeah, that's why I'm annoyed by it. It's, it's obviously a trick he should go for. But I, sh I mean, I'm up so much time there. At least I'm going to win this game. Okay, thank you to Lauder for the 36. Okay, I'm going to win this game, though. Eric was a little trick. I mean, I just I played such a good game there to get to that winning position. But at least I'm winning this third game already. Go C4. I'm going to play Knight C3 here. I mean... Goes g4. Now I can also trade and play queen e4 check even. Key here is to not lose my cool. That's just the most important thing. It's just stay calm and just win this game. 
This looks fine with queen e4, knight c3. I just can't believe I did that. <laughs> That's just another pawn that I take. I mean, Portnick's definitely, I mean, he's feeling a high after that win. Um, it's very important that I don't just make some quick blunders here. That's all that matters. Uh, D4 allows Bishop B4. That's a bad move. Okay, so I'm up material, so it's time to just um, take stock of what we have or don't have. So I think I'm just going to play here. And maybe just Bishop E2 next move. I'm, not, I'm up I'm up a lot of pawns. He's got a bad king. If he can't do anything immediately, I'm just winning this game, basically. So I just have to stay calm, just find a couple of good moves, and put the game away. I just can't believe I did it. I just can't believe I did that. I'm just so mad at myself for... Let's go here. And I go deep. <gasps> and just like that, I blunder. Just like that, I make a blunder. Oh my god. Seriously? I'm still probably going to win the game, but oh my gosh. What the heck was that? Yeah, insane. Takes. I think F6 is still probably winning, but geez, what is wrong with me today? Let's go here. I'm just unbelievable. <laughs> Does Blunder not mean the same thing in the world? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to be quiet for a second, because I'm, I'm actually like kind of mad at myself right now I these sevens no good it's ridiculous I'm getting mad at myself too this will just go Ridiculous. Completely winning the last two games, and this match should already be over. At least I'm up on the clock here. Is Queen A5? I mean, I have B4 or something. Just need to make sure I don't make any big blunders. That's the only thing I have to watch out for. I can play king e2. No, I think I just develop. Just stay safe here. Go here. All the squares are covered. No checks. Of course, he's got this, which I missed na naturally. Unbelievable how I'm doing this. I'm actually finding, like, being a serious attempt to lose this. Now I have bishop h7. He finds the only defense. I can't be right. Um. Ah, oh, I win. Okay. Need a fly to roof the 19. Not good. Okay, I get the win. Okay. Yeah, he's going to play e4. So it's 2 1. Okay. I'm going to let. It, okay, he's going to do this again. Let's go check. Let's castle. Go here. I'm actually I'm going to grab the pawn. Maybe there's something wrong because I don't know. What did he play? d5 last time? He goes 95. I mean, I assume I go bishop b7. Wait, is that wrong? Wait, I think I already just made a mistake. I mean, I have bishop a6. That's my idea, at least. And then bishop d3. Here, hopefully this isn't losing. I'm playing this way too fast, but we'll see. Stay calm and good things will happen. Yeah, I mean, it's just 
I just don't make blunders like that. That's that's why I'm mad at myself. I just don't. I mean, like, I had so much time there that I just can't believe I did it. I'm talking about the second game, of course, not the third one. I mean, I just I, I was up like 10 seconds and I'm hovering. If he was down to two seconds, hovering makes sense. But he had 12 seconds. Like, it was just very my the technique just like just bothers me. Like, anytime I make a technical mistake like that, I'm I, I just it really bugs me to no end. Okay, he's using a ton of time. So either he's going to find a win or he's going to probably lose the game right here. He goes Bishop G5. Strange move, I think. I just take. I mean, he has Queen F3, but then I have Queen D6 and it's just GG's. And if he takes, I go Knight D7. That's also, I think, GG's. Yeah, this should be game over, is my guess. So he's using so much time here that he has to have a win. If he doesn't have a win here, he just loses the game. It's the time situation. Yeah, okay, go here. Ah, uh, he finds a trick, though. And it's a good one. Oh my gosh, it's a really good trick. Or, but is it good enough? I'm up 2-1, right? A draw does not win me the match here. No, he finds a very good trick. Finds a very nice trick. Um, play knight 7 and gf6, though. I think this is still good enough, because I can take... Or did I just... Oh, God, did I really just blunder again? Oh, what is wrong with me? Just can't I just can't keep it together. I just can't keep it together for more than like one game right now. Unbelievable. I literally just blunder yet again for no reason. I go rook C. Queen G3, knight F8. I'm probably lost here somehow, but I'm going to do it. Just can't keep it together. I mean, like, why do I why do I blitz out queen d6? I mean, I should just think here. I was thinking play like knight a6 or anything, just but not not to blitz it all out for no reason. Just getting too excited by the situation, thinking I'm about to win the whole thing. I mean, I'm sure I'm lost here somehow. But I mean, I have queen c3. I have some tricks. Like, there are some chances. If I go h5, queen g5, I mean, am I actually lost? You can play queen c2, queen f5, and takes, maybe. Queen c3 is not a move. Queen c2, h5, queen f5. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully, this isn't losing. I have this. He's got no time. Thank you so much to Duke. Rook him for the five. Thank you. It goes there. I mean, oh, Do I have to go here. Does he have anything better than a draw? Go here. He's got no time. No, but this doesn't work. I get out. I win the match. I think. He finds another little trick, another silly tricky tricky. Go here. Yeah, this is GG's. There we go. I think it's Havom D for the nine months. Okay, we win. Mm. Not not good. That second game really messed up the flow. This would have been a nice, clean, easy, smooth 3-1. This would have been a nice, smooth 3-0 type match, but that second game, I mean, I, I ruined it. I, I win the last two to, to make it 3-1, and I win, win the finals. Uh, we got our $3,500 uh, top prize, yeah. Let me take a look. What was going on here? Let me see the lines and evaluation. So he goes here. Knight a yeah. See if I if I'd been like smart like a normal sane person would, I use time and I play like knight a six or knight bd seven. 
like any sane person goes knight bd7 here and black is just better any sane person plays knight bd7 but instead i play queen d6 immediately which is just a oh but i'm actually i'm actually even even worse at chess because i can take and after check i can block oh geez i'm actually even worse than i thought i was at chess I mean, I guess he he has a draws computer, so some kind of weird queen g5 and repetitions, but yeah, not good, not good. I should have used way more time there. I was I was up like a minute plus, um, but yeah, the trick was that basically here I can't take because he goes check and then he has knight g6 with a classic fossil and White's winning the game. This is what I missed. I mean, I completely missed this, and it was very very poorly played, um, but. But yeah, no, no, it's uh, it's all good. We end up we end up winning. I mean, very, very, uh, very dicey match. I mean, it would have been fine if I win the second game the way I was supposed to. Then the match is very crisp and clean. Anyway, I throw it, which of course ruins my rating, so I'm below. Uh... Now, actually, wait. Let's keep going though. This is winning, right? Queen c2 is best. Knight d7. Oh, so knight d. Oh, this is winning because now after takes he can go here and he 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 has this knight f6 trick. I think. Wait, king h8. Or wait, King G7, Queen E2, and Queen E. I mean, I guess this is winning for White. I mean, this is probably winning, but this isn't actually as crisp as I think it should be. This isn't as crisp as it should be. Um, so it's not an instant win. But the thing is, I think after Knight G4, yeah, I go here and Queen A3 is good. It says 0.64, so it's already very much on the edge. I did actually say Queen H4, but I assume there was some tactic, something in here that was winning. Apparently, it's not winning. So I can just walk into the discovery and just sit forever and white has nothing but what I did actually led to me winning the game so he takes and queen h queen a3 and wow queen a3 rook c6 and of course the very obvious queen a6 queen b7 is good for white I hate computers um does this and now yeah now I just go here and just end the game on the spot and win um but yeah no it's it's a win though it's a win three one we got our $3,500 top fry top prize I should say and we keep rolling right along, um, keep rolling right along.